Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be making a multi-layered house um, with a cool house entrance that's also like kind of a garden fountain area with a starry garden that leads up to the house on the second layer. So as you can see, I cleared out some space and I have the second layer all set up, ready to go. The house is going to go all the way up there and we're going to have a ramp to the right over here that goes up to it. But before we do that, we have to build our fountain area. So, to start off, I'm going to use the terracotta path, and we're just going to use the terracotta lining as well. Okay, now we have a nice base plate to work with, and I think I want the house centered on this cliff. So, um, I just generally picked out, I didn't really think about the size of the area yet, but uh, I figured I wanted a fountain in the middle, so this looks pretty much like the middle. So these simple panels are really cool because you could put custom designs on them. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm putting this cool custom design I found online with the windows so that it kind of is like an extension of your house. And I think it'll look really nice um, covering the cliff instead of just the cliff, the plain cliff. So I'm going to get about five custom panels. And I'm, I'm going to put the window pattern on all of them. So let's do that. And I will see you when we get back to the place. Alright, so again, I want these covering the cliff. Kind of. So... I think that looks okay. Get a few more of these down. So we're just going to carve out some more land to get it all centered. Um, we're going to put a ramp here. Alright, so I've kind of laid out an area. Um, this is the area that I want. Uh, to find the center, basically, of your area, we're, we're working with odd numbers here. So this is... I think this is like 13 blocks wide. Which is an odd number. Which is good, because the house is an odd number, and it always will be. So you kind of want to work with odd numbers here. So as you can see, uh, the house is five wide. So I am going to have five simple panels here. I'm ordering another one. I forgot to order five, but uh, with those window patterns, it should look pretty nice. Um, and if we, you, you can definitely figure out the area that you want to build with by trying to place your house and letting me imagine it because it will show you the perfect amount. And uh, obviously I have to customize my house a little bit to fit the white windows a little bit better, but it should look pretty okay when it's done. So as you can see, I have a fountain here. I customized it to be white. Uh, that is just to fit the white color scheme that we're using. And then I also have these nice whites garden benches. So if I put some garden benches down. Yeah, looking pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to have some garden benches here. So I think it'd be really nice to have the end table here. And then I have this white hourglass. That looks kind of cool, right? I mean, it's different. And one thing I think it would be really cool is to have these marketplace decorations that you can get from the uh, Pocket Camp game. If you enter a code into your Switch from Pocket Camp, you can get these in your catalog. So you're going to be constantly going back and looking and seeing if you like stuff or if you don't like stuff. Um, it's all part of the game, you know? You know, you might not like something when you place it down, so you have to go back and fix it. So I'm definitely going to have to terraform this cliff here and move that or to make way for the entrance. Okay, and here's with all of the hedges laid out so we can actually see what it looks like. Looks pretty good so far. Uh, marketplace may have to go. I may replace those with white street lamps, but we'll keep them for now. Okay, now we have this. Uh, we have some white street lamps I bought, and they look pretty good. They they uh, they fit well. We might change them a little later. 
So it's time to make the incline. So the incline is definitely going to go here. Yes, that's great. We have the white incline here and we're going to cover that. There's always these cypress plants you can use. And this kind of covers the, the ramp a little bit. And it's something that's behind the hedges. So if I put some hedges in front of this. Looks pretty cool, I guess. Because you can't really see. It kind of just looks like uh, hedges. Um, like just a different type of hedges from when you're looking at it from behind. So it's all about playing with the perspective of... Uh, Animal Crossing. So I've, I've just increased the size of the plaza a little bit. So that it's kind of even with everything. It looks a lot nicer in my opinion. Less cramped. Uh, and it looks nice with the white fountain in the middle. Uh, I will try. Uh, so I wanted to try something really quick. So yeah, I was thinking of putting a bush or two here. Um, and to do that, I'm going to also put some lining here. So it looks like the bushes are held together, you know, just like in real life, in sort of this lining that goes into the grass. And I'll let you know how it turns out. And that looks very pretty, I'm gonna say. It looks pretty good. I, I love these terracotta linings so much. And added bonus, you get butterflies this way too. So we got a nice butterfly over there. And it leads up to the entrance of our house. I'm not sure how I feel about that hourglass anymore. I thought it looked cool in the beginning, but maybe not. Uh, you guys could tell me in the comments what you like and don't like about this build. So down here, actually, I was thinking about having just hybrid flowers down here in a little flower patch. And the way you can make these little flower patches is the same way that I made those uh, little bush patches up there. So I guess we can make two, just a two... Just a small area for them. Final touch, final touch. Please, please, please. Yes. It looks amazing. Great. This is great. This is exactly what I wanted. All right, so we're going to place our house down. So this will be the middle panel, and this is where the middle of the fountain is. It's also where the middle of the hourglass is. You, uh, that's, that's main, the main thing you want to be paying attention to is, is everything centered. Before you place your house down, double check that everything is centered because it is very annoying misplacing your house. So hedges look really nice, but then if you put these iron fences in front of the hedges, they look even nicer. So, uh, let me do that. Boom. Eh, looking pretty snazzy pretty snazzy okay now that we have most of the the plaza done we are going to make a little garden up onto the ramp so i feel like these two paths go really nice with each other um you are gonna have to experiment a little bit to get it to look good but i love the heart and moon uh paths they look so nice in my opinion all right as you can see i'm winding the rocks Hopefully it looks good in the end, but that's one method of doing this. There's a lot of methods of um, laying out these rock patterns. I put a bottom right here, and then I'm going to do a bottom left. Ta-da! It kind of winds. It's like, zoop. Maybe too many rocks. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Too many rocks? Too many wood paths? Does it look good? Does it not look good? Who knows? <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to decorate it with a tree, I guess. I'm deciding where to put the tree. You know, you could just decorate it with a happy little tree anywhere. Not there, though. That's not a good spot. Well, it is now the next day, and it is raining again. I cannot escape the rain ever. Or Pinky. Hello, Pinky. Um, I got the simple panels in, and the wrap is built. And it's looking pretty okay. I think we can terraform this a little bit. Let me terraform one sec. Okay, hello, and I'm here to bring you the finished product. So does this bug apparently wants to as well. <laughs> uh, we have this nice plaza area that goes in front of our house. This is kind of our yard, um, our front yard. And as you can see, the simple panels have the window design on it. So you can kind of see that it 
is an extension of the house. Uh, I think I might change my house design in the future to be more white to match the simple panels. But then we come to the right and we can see that we are now in this starry path that leads up to my house uh, with some soot spirits that have some fragments uh, uh, they're holding. And then uh, there's fences that have hedges behind them that look really nice. And then it comes up to the starry path that leads into my house. Um, and it, this is just a flower garden. It's going to have more coordination later. But yeah, um, obviously there's a lot that could be improved. Let me know what you guys think of this build in the comments. I'm definitely curious to see what you guys are going to say. It's, uh, I'm sure it's going to be mixed because it looks a little weird, to be honest, uh, from my perspective. But I tried my best. I did what I thought was best. And hopefully I gave you some cool patterns at least to work with and maybe some cool ideas with uh, blocking the ramp with the, the ferns. I think that looks really nice, the cypress plants. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.